Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, before I begin, I'm not going to be giving you any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims, and the statements in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. This video is for research purposes only, guys. As you all know who have been watching my channel for some time, there's a lot of products in the world of hydrogen that I don't recommend. I don't recommend the hydrogen bottles. Uh, I've done other videos on that. You can see the lab testing of that and why that is. I definitely don't recommend the hydrogen tablets. Today you're going to get to see actual lab footage from a proper hydrogen lab in Japan. And you can just see the facts. The, the facts will speak for themselves and why I don't personally recommend these hydrogen tablets. And I definitely don't recommend those Brown's gas devices that use lye or sodium hydroxide, which is basically an inferior way of making hydrogen. It just simply shows that you're lacking the technology and lye is highly caustic and toxic. And it's, it's just very dangerous stuff. You definitely don't want to be inhaling that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just show you what's going on here today. Now remember, this is the things that I want you to understand while you watch this video. I want you to understand that hydrogen is odorless, colorless, tasteless, and pH neutral. So this is important during this test because what you're going to see is these technicians do this, this hydrogen study to basically measure the, the amount of hydrogen that's really being produced by these pills. You can see that they're full in the directions. They have the exact amount of water that you're supposed to have. One of the nice things that they're going to do, and they have properly calibrated equipment, everything is done very correctly from what I can see here. The first thing they're actually testing is the pH. And I'm actually really glad they did this because I would have not thought of this. And this is extremely important because remember, hydrogen is pH neutral. If you do, if you make hydrogen properly, it really shouldn't be changing the pH of the water. You can see here that anything above a seven is a little alkaline. If it's below seven, obviously it becomes acidic. Seven is about neutral. And we can see here that it's at 7.6. Roughly, so it's just slightly alkaline, so it's a really good base point, and that's important for us to understand. Now, they're going to follow the proper directions. The manufacturer claims that this thing makes 8 ppm, now, in 16 ounces. So for me, I'm a little suspicious immediately when I see 8 ppm, and it also says, you know, probably don't want to give it to a pregnant woman or a nursing woman. That's, to me, that's something that I would be cautious about too, because remember, hydrogen is incredibly pure. If made properly, it appears to be, well, completely safe for pregnant women uh, or somebody nursing if it was made properly. I can't emphasize that enough. There's Most of the products out there I would never give to a pregnant woman personally. So now they're going to go ahead and let it completely dissolve. They're definitely following the instructions exactly as they're recommended. And meanwhile, let me just read you some of the notes from the technicians. They said that when they opened the bottle, it had a sour smell and it kind of hurt their eyes. Then as it was begin to dissolve, there's like a residue, which right there you can see on the stick right there, some type of unknown residue. Here's my concern. Uh, magnesium is a compound metal. It's very possible. I mean, the water tastes metallic-y actually and almost like burnt. And the water actually kind of gets warm, like there's heat being generated. My concern is that there might be some metals, because remember, it, hydrogen is colorless. I mean, it shouldn't be turning gray like that, tasteless. It shouldn't be tasting like metals or weird burnt taste or anything. And it's supposed to be pH neutral. We'll test that later. But what we're, what we're really looking at right now, what they're doing right now, is really just to see how much hydrogen it generates with the proper equipment. The nice thing that I appreciate that they're doing here is that they're doing the blue drops right next to it. The reason I appreciate that is because they're showing again that these blue drops, again, these are MIZ drops, which again, in my opinion, they're actually better, but they have H2 blue drops, which from what I can see appear to be more inaccurate. But this is going to show you that, well, the blue drops are just not accurate, guys. Anybody who recommends reagent, you know, these drops to measure hydrogen is showing their lack of knowledge of hydrogen or their, I guess what I would call their ignorance in, in the knowledge of hydrogen. So you can see that the water is generating, geez, not even one PPM. Oh, there it goes. Well, well about what? So the drops are saying that it's at 1.7. It's clearly not accurate. The water is, I mean, one PPM at best, which is a far cry from the eight PPM. You can see the blue drops reached 1.9 ppm. If the gentleman hadn't been shaking it so much, maybe it would have reached two or more. But this is a far cry from 8 ppm. And remember, maximum saturation in our atmospheric pressure is 1.6 ppm. These are all very important things to 
to know. Here they're noting that the manufacturer is claiming eight. It's really doing about one. This is a big problem because even if you drink 16 ounces of this stuff, which I personally wouldn't, um, again, it tasting, I mean, it was funny because the technician said people actually drink this <laughs> in America. It was kind of funny because they, they thought it was quite gross and seemed very dirty, but holy cow. Okay. Now look at this guys. This is the pH test. Here is where I'm personally seeing an issue. The water was 7.6 before, after 4.6. We're talking a highly acidic water here. I mean, we're talking like French fries and, you know, cheeseburgers type of pH, which I just don't think is a very good thing. Um, I don't know what the blue drops, here's, here's another question. What were the blue drops exactly interacting with? Because if they're given a false reading, is it just the blue drops or are they interacting with something also? One of my hunches would be, I mean, is it producing other gases? It's possible, but based on everything I've read, I'm gonna guess it's probably the, the heavy metals. It's interacting with metals again. I see this quite often. There, this is the thing that I've been cautioning people about. So that's just, you know, again, my opinion on what's happening here. But we can again see that the drops are not accurate and you're only getting one ppm in 16 ounces of water. Now, if you know anything about trying to get results with hydrogen, that's just not gonna cut it, guys. And then to, to make matters worse, it's changing the pH from what we can see. And that's, something's going on. Um, this to me raises a red flag. I actually can't believe that, that people would not only use this, but the doctors would recommend it. Uh, in my opinion, it shows a certain level of, of either misunderstanding or even ignorance about hydrogen. Not so much just hydrogen, but how to make it properly, which is something I've been preaching a lot for years on my channel. And not just how to make it properly, but also how to use it properly. Because drinking 16 ounces of that is not going to give you therapeutic grade hydrogen, you know, in my opinion at all. I mean, we're not even close to the amount of milligrams of hydrogen that you would need. Not to mention that you're not going to be able to inhale this hydrogen. I did notice that there was like a little, there's a gas that comes off the surface of the water when it's going through that chemical reaction. It's certainly something I would not want to be inhaling. And I really hope that, you know, this helps people understand. I would say that some of the other notes from the technicians, not only that there's a residue being left, but the concern is that this chemical reaction continues when you pour this into your mouth because it doesn't seem to be completely dissolved. So there's clearly something still happening. And if this chemical reaction continues to happen in your mouth or even after ingested and going into your stomach, that would be something of a concern uh, for me. I'm not gonna go as far as, I mean, there are people who have contacted me who have had certain issues from using this, but I don't wanna really give the details of that because I, don't, I just don't wanna do that on this video. That's not what this video is about. This video was just a lab test so you can actually see the results. Go ahead and comment below, guys. You know, any comments below, any opinions is, is really, really great. I'd love to hear everybody's opinion on this. Thanks for sharing this video. Thanks for subscribing. You know, I'm providing all this information to you guys for free. Thanks for giving the, the video a thumbs up and as it really helps. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next one.